Guys, welcome back to the channel, Lower Michigan Adventures. And today we have something a little special for you. We got our good friend Outdoors with Den. And what we're planning on doing is taking a look at... 2019 Chevy Express, one ton extended, no build camping van. And I got a crazy question for you. Was there anything particular that inspired you to make a no build camper van? Actually, I grew up with just vans. I've never, my dad never had anything other than a van until he got older, and I've always been into vans. I had my first, those first couple of vehicles were vans. I went to a pickup truck and then back to the van. And I just, they're so versatile. I mean, you can do anything in them. I can throw my canoe in there. So, let's take a walk around the outside of your van. Boy, this thing is like huge. I mean, it's it's really long. And we got a special guest that's getting ready to come and visit us. That's Axel. It's Axel. Holy cow. Holy cow, he's hyper. Oh, <laughs> Axel, be nice. He's, he's going to get used to you real quick. He's just... Axel. Axel. He's a sniffer. He hasn't seen many uh, people other than the family. So yeah, it's a 2019 six liter. It's How does that do on gas? I was getting <laughs> 13 and a half on the way here. So probably not the best, but it'll no, work. Yep. Yeah. What, I got a crazy question. Uh, what, is, what is this up here? What is, what is this up here? What the, is this? The ladder rack is off my old van. Yeah. And uh, which you'll find out, I repurpose everything. But that is a, uh, Strictly now for just tying off my canopies, but okay. I mean I could uh, I could you could put a canoe up there probably. Yeah, yeah, but I don't want to lift a canoe anymore, you know. Right. Not when I can slide it in the back. Okay. But you know I could put a frame up there and put solar panels on it. That's kind of a good, kind of neat idea too. Now you might want to go in and sit in a chair. With the, when it comes time to go in. Okay. So, okay, so we're just going to take and walk back around and go and check out the inside of the no-build van. And Axel, we had to move Axel. He got a little excited. Say, say hi, Axel. <coughs> say hi. So we're all in. And where we are, we got a nice little candle right here. We got a TV. What do you got here? What is this thing? This uh... this was uh, just bathroom vanity plastic uh, drawers. I screwed them together, put the top and back on to mount the TV to, and then I just screwed it to the plywood floor. It's not a, not fixed to the wall at all. And I haven't had any problems with it. So what's actually powering that TV right now? The campsite. Oh, the campsite, okay. But you do have a I jackery have a, somewhere. Yep, there's a jackery under the cot here. 500. And I really like this bag because I can carry everything with it. And I can carry the charger, everything in this bag. Another Amazon purchase. So that's what I run the TV, Roku, everything with, except for the heater. So if, if I'm stealth camping or right. And you actually have a heater back here. What is what kind of heater is this? Oh, it's a mess, but it's underneath my jacket here. That is an infrared heater. Oh, you don't have to bring it up here. No, I was just going to... And that is usually my nightstand, but I put this table in, and now the table doesn't let it fit in there, but, I, you know, I'm not going to use the heater that often anyway. Right. So that won't be there. It's there for today, but... Coffee maker, all the uh, curtain, they're just clipped in. I didn't want to drill any holes. 
There's a no build. Right. And it's kind of neat. You got your privacy. You, you even got your coffee pot down there. Yep. You got a fancy light. What is that light down there? You yeah, got my, a fancy my light. light. Whoa, you, you even got a remote control for your light? Yep. Oh, wow, that's kind of neat. Yeah, it's, you got three different plugs you can hook up. And that, you know, so I don't have to get out of bed. And you got plenty of room inside here. And you yeah. got the Roku. You got Roku. Yeah, that's I got Roku, cool. and that runs off of my uh, hotspot. Same From your thing. phone? Yep. Yep. Same thing with the barrel boat. I run the Roku when I'm out on the water. Kind of a neat little uh, no build for sure. And we all start somewhere, and I, I, I think that this one's pretty, pretty darn cool. You got a nice little spot up here to sit down. And there's my new Bouge RV. Bouge RV, what is this thing? That's a fridge. Oh, that's your fridge. Yep. Woo, fancy, fancy, fancy. Look at that. I needed something for the boat this year, so. You even got the curtains that go across for all your privacy. You got plenty of space. What I like about this van is this van, 15 passenger, huh? Yeah, four seats, four rows. Four rows. <laughs> One ton. One ton. This this thing's <laughs> built. This van weighs 7,200 pounds. 7,200 pounds, yeah. wow. And I can really feel it. Yeah. When I uh, would drive my half ton through my backyard to do a turnaround in the backyard, no problem. If I do it with this thing, you can just feel it sinking into the grass. It's like, oh my gosh, what a difference. You, you even got some tarps. Didn't you say you got a canopy or something that sometimes you put up too? Yeah, I got three three or four tarps there. Three or four tarps. In case I want to box in this 8 by 8 area right outside the doors. Right. I can do that. Right. In case I want to be outside. So I got one for the roof that comes off the rack. And then I got uh, three seven by eights or something, I think. All camo. I can put all three up. And then the drawers here, you know, I got food, junk drawer, utensils, you know, electrical stuff. So you pretty much got all the things you need. You got... There's all the food, but you would, yeah, you would think, and then you, you, you look at it and you go, what the heck is all this other stuff? Right. It's just stuff I threw in here, you know, because we were up BSing late last night. I right. didn't get to finish. And... So this no, is it, just it all. Looks, it looks fine. I mean, it's not a, it. My my little SUV car camper is actually a lot more cluttered than this. You've got a lot of space where I, every inch counts when you get into a, a SUV car camper. Yeah. And then this is just, you know, this is all camera equipment and drone and my bug out bag over there well the bug out bag i bring a lot of places it's not that big but half of this stuff i didn't need to bring i could have just went with what's in the cabinet there but right i wanted to show you i love this thing this is from harbor freight five bucks wow and then the cool thing is the cashier showed me when i was leaving you can put spare batteries in the top Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. For five bucks, I had to have it. So that's another light, but... And then the candle. That candle, that's actually my son's candle company. My son and daughter-in-law. Heavenly Rose Candles. Heavenly Rose Candles. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like the setup. And it, you know, if I ever need to, if I have to take 15 people somewhere... You can... I can just pull it out. Easily pull this back out and take it from a no build back into a regular old van, just like that. That's the that's the whole point of having a no build is to be able to just pull this out. And if if you wanted to change to a different van, you could easily swap all this stuff out and move it to a different van. I yeah. kind of like it. And the the plywood, it's not cut to shape. It's just a chunk I had laying in the garage. And right. It's not even attached to anything except for the TV stand and right. cabinet. So it's just unbolt, unscrew those four screws, pull that out, pull the plywood out, put the seats back in. And everything's back ready to roll, just like it never, just like, just like a new vehicle. Yep. 
pull the curtains down and you're good to go. And you're good to go. Well, thanks for uh, bringing us along on this here no build. What would you call this van again? I would call this, this is a 2019 <laughs> Chevy Express 3500. Now I got the 3500 because I tow the boat and, and the big enclosed trailer. So you could get a 2500 right. extended as well. So but this this is this feet, is this is an extra two foot. Yeah. So this this is the big one. Yeah. Well, I think it's it's actually twenty inches, something like that. Right. But you might as well call it two feet. Right. And this is a uh, it's not four wheel drive, which I would love to have, but this has got the BF Goodrich all terrains. I turn off the uh, anti slip, and I haven't had any trouble. I think it's because of it's so heavy. Now in the uh, sand, it works against you, but right. in the snow, it works fine. Yeah, this is an old build. Take everything out and uh, put the seats back in, pull the curtains down, sell it or use it. Whatever you want to do. And then this will all, you know, this will all go into my Chevy uh, Sierra Z71 pickup truck. So I do want to go off-road and overlanding. Alrighty. Well, Outdoors with Den, I appreciate you taking us on this no-build van tour. I greatly appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance to, go check out... Outdoors with Den. He actually has a YouTube channel, too, and uh, I would highly recommend. And what you actually have a pretty popular video on YouTube, uh, The Barrel Boat. Yeah, go check out the barrel boat. Yeah. Built from the ground up, solar powered, gas powered. Pretty unique. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you at the next one. Cut.